All right, we're looking at Tagget, and this is going to be a quick, very quick introduction to Tagget, which is a qualitative uh, coding um, online uh, option. It's free. The website is app.tagget.org. I've already logged in under my login name. So if you have qualitative data like uh, interview transcripts and you would like to code them, uh, you can do it with Tagget. And uh, I have a few projects that I've already started. You would want to click create a new project, of course. I'll just do one with sample data that I've created just to show you quickly. You won't get a full sense, but you'll get a taste at least. So I'll click on that. And I've added some uh, interview transcripts here on the left side. If you want to add another one, you can just simply click add document, choose a file from your computer, name it with whatever you want to name it, describe it, and import it. So when you have uh, already uploaded it, then you can click on different your different documents to highlight them or code them would be the better word. You can see that I've already done that for some of these. And uh, Tagget only highlights in yellow, so yellow is what you get. Um, I've used other programs that give you different color options so you can see like variation. Here you don't get that, but it is free. Um, <clears throat> in order to code, what you're going to do, I'll start a new one here. So you highlight the section that you want to code uh, right here, for example, and you're going to click, after you highlight it, you're going to click New Highlight. There's a list of tags, what they call tags, which you might call codes or qualitative codes that we've already created. If I don't, if I, well, if I want to use one of these tags, I can just cl click on it. However, if that tag does not work, I can create a new tag, like something like instrumental, instrumental motivation, let's say. And I don't need to add more description motivation with, a, with an I. I'm going to save and close it. And now I have tagged that instrumental motivation, save and close, and it is now highlighted. Um, and I'll add, a, let's imagine that I want to highlight this also. If I click on new highlight, I can now choose from one of the old highlights, or I can create a new one. I'll create a new one again, and let's call this um, cultural stresses, save and close. So I've now tagged that section as cultural stresses. Um, and you can see you could just probably keep going and uh, tag more and more. If you want to see your highlights, you can click up here on the left side, top left in the highlight section, and you can see how many um, sections or sentences or paragraphs or whatever have been highlighted. I have four in the comparison section. Um, I've just gotten started on this, so not very many, but comparison. And if I click on that, then it takes all of those codes or highlights or tags, whatever you want to call them, from the different interviews and puts them all in one place. And you can see how this can be valuable when it comes time to write up your uh, study. Now, one thing I want to say before we wrap this up, this is just a very brief introduction, as I said, is another kind of downside of um, Tagget is that your tags or your highlights here are all, they kind of all look the same. So, but what if you want to create like a higher level category? There's, they're all yellow, they're all the same, so it's hard to do that the one thing I've figured out is if you want to create a higher level category, you just need to change how you type it. So for example, I'll, let's imagine I want this to be tagged as one of my themes, and I'll make it the theme of, um, uh, what, what, let's see, what theme do I want to make it? I'll make it uh, transition challenges. Now, when I click Save and Close, you can see that the theme stands out. So I can tag it as more than one thing like that. So now when I click on it, 
it should be tagged as more than one thing. What happened here? Here we go, this one. So let's say this one, I want help from relatives and I'm going to tag that as theme transition challenges also. So by changing like the, the, the uh, it to all caps, you can show that there's a higher level theme um, and that seems to be a, a good way to do it for me. So when I click on highlights now, it's clear to me, like I've typed the word theme and I have it in all caps. And now I know that this is my bigger category rather than one of these other smaller categories. That works for me, but you can do it other ways. In any case, I would encourage you to try Taget if you are looking for a free, simple um, program. It's uh, browser-based. I think there's also a desktop version, which I have not used, and I found the browser version to be adequate, perfectly adequate for uh, basic qualitative coding. And I'll wrap it up here. Uh, there's much more to say about Taget and qualitative coding, but this kind of gives you a little taste of Taget.